Numbers chapter 22, verses 2 through 40. And Balak, son of Zippor, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites, and Moab was exceedingly afraid of the people because they were many. And Moab was in dread because of the children of Israel. And Moab said to the elders of Midian, Now this company is licking up all that is around us, as an ox licks up the grass of the field. Now Balak, son of Zippor, was sovereign of the Moabites at the time. And he sent messengers to Bilam, son of Beor, at Pathor, which is near the river in the land of the sons of his people, to call him, saying, See, a people has come from Mitzrayim. See, they have covered the surface of the land and are settling next to me. And now, please come at once, curse this people for me, for they are too strong for me. It might be that I strike them and drive them out of the land, for I know that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. And the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian left, left with the fees for divination in their hand, and they came to Bilam and spoke the words of Balak to him. And he said to them, Spend the night here, and I shall bring back word to you, as Yahweh speaks to me. So the heads of Moab stayed with Bilam, and Elohim came to Bilam and said, Who are these men with you? And Bilam said to Elohim, Balak, son of Zippor, sovereign of Moab, has sent to me, saying, See, a people has come out of Mitzrayim, and cover the face of the land. Come now, curse them for me. It might be that I am able to fight against them and drive them out. And Elohim said to Bilam, do not go with them. You do not curse the people, for they are blessed. And Bilam rose in the morning and said to the heads of Balak, Go back to your land, for Yahweh has refused to allow me to go with you. And the heads of Moab arose and went to Balak and said, Bilam refuses to come with us. Then Balak again sent heads, more numerous and more esteemed than they. And they came to Bilam and said to him, this is what Balak, son of Zippor, said. Do not be withheld from coming to me, please, for I esteem you very greatly, and whatever you say to me, I do. Therefore, please come, curse this people for me. And Bilam answered and said to the servants of Balak, Though Balak were to give me his house filled with silver and gold, I am unable to go beyond the word of Yahweh my Elohim to do less or more. And now, Please, you also stay here tonight, and let me find out what more Yahweh says to me. And Elohim came to Bilam at night and said to him, If the men come to, you, come to call you, rise and go with them, but only the word which I speak to you, that you do. And Bilam rose in the morning and saddled his donkey and went with the heads of Moab. But the displeasure of Elohim burned because he went. And the messenger of Yahweh stationed himself in the way as an adversary against him. And he was riding on his donkey, and his two servants were with him. And the donkey saw the messenger of Yahweh standing in the way with his drawn sword in his hand. And the donkey turned aside out of the way and went into the field. So Bilam struck the donkey to turn her back onto the way. Then the messenger of Yahweh stood in a narrow passage between the vineyards, with a wall on this side and a wall on that side. And when the donkey saw the messenger of Yahweh, she pushed herself against the wall and crushed Bilam's foot against the wall, so he struck her again. And the messenger of Yahweh went further and stood in a narrow place where there was no way to turn aside right or left. And when the donkey saw the messenger of Yahweh, she lay down under Bilam. So Bilam's displeasure burned and he struck the donkey with his staff. Then Yahweh opened the mouth of the donkey, and she said to Bilam, What have I done to you that you have stricken me these three times? And Bilam said to the donkey, Because you have mocked me, I wish there were a sword in my hand, for I would have killed you by now. And the donkey said to Bilam, Am I not your donkey on which you have ridden ever since I became yours to this day? Was I ever known to do so to you? And he said, No. Then Yahweh opened Bilam's eyes, 
and he saw the messenger of Yahweh standing in the way with his drawn sword in his hand. And he bowed his head and fell on his face, and the messenger of Yahweh said to him, Why have you struck your donkey these three times? See, I have come out to stand against you, because your way is reckless before me. And the donkey saw me and turned aside from me these three times. If she had not turned aside from me, I certainly would have killed you by now and let her live. And Bilam said to the messenger of Yahweh, I have sinned, for I did not know you stood in the way against me. And now, if evil is in your eyes, let me turn back. And the messenger of Yahweh said to Bilam, Go with the men, but only the word that I speak to you, that you speak. Bilam then went with the heads of Balak. And when Balak heard that Bilam was coming, he went out to meet him at the city of Moab, which is on the border at the Arnon, which was in the extremity of the border. And Balak said to Bilam, Did I not urgently send to you, calling for you? Why did you not come to me? Am I not able to esteem you? And Bilam said to Balak, See, I have come to you. Now, am I at all able to say somewhat? The word that Elohim puts in my mouth, that I speak. And Bilam went with Balak, and they came to Kiriath Hutsoth. And Balak slaughtered cattle and sheep, and he sent some to Bilam and to the heads who were with him.